Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with F and Lido um, for the sort of February review um, and an added bonus. Um, so it's going to be quite a long episode today. Um, just going to go through what has happened so far. Uh, so we can start off with the transfers this year. We've actually brought in some players. Uh, we've sold some players too. I think. Well, yeah, no, kind of. Um, so we brought in. Four players overall, two in the first transfer, and those two in the second. Uh, firstly, brought in uh, Kostin Kocokaru, a um, Romanian centre back and right back as a cover. So, brought him in. Uh, he played for Dynamo Onesti, so he looks okay. And then we brought in uh, Juma Saleh, a um, what nationality? Tanzanian centre mid who's 22, uh, played for Millwall, uh, but I have proceeded to loan him out to uh, Hibernian because they offered to pay for it. So I'm like, okay, you can get loaned out because seeing as he was only a cover. Then we've bought two players for money. Um, probably our most transfer spending we've had done so far. Firstly, we brought uh, Kieran O'Sullivan from Cork City for 60k. Um, 17 years old now. Um, 16 finishing, 16 determination. Got some great stats there, so hopefully he can be very good. And then we brought in Keith Purcell for 64k, who is a centre mid. Um, f also from Cork City, 17, uh, 17 flair, 18 bravery, but he did um, get loaned back to Cork City, that was part of the deal, so he's going to stay there until next year, um, which will, is a, will be good probably. Um, but yeah, that's it for transfer, really. Affiliated clubs, we brought got a um, feeder club, not really anything good, got Copenhagen as a, like a parent team, but we got them to see if we could open up links for... More feeder clubs, but none so far. Um, but yeah, let's just go through the fixtures. Um, this, this sort of, yeah, <laughs> this sort of yeah. Um, so after our Champions League playoff leg, we played a uh, Ryder. Uh, we beat them three 0 at home. Um, Alan Edwards, Josh Mainwaring, and Billy Thompson. Then we beat uh, TNS two 0 away. Uh, Draper and McCaw. Then we beat um, Porto, actually, 2-1 at home. Uh, this was a very good game here. Look at this. Three goals in the opening uh, 50 minutes. We scored two from McCaw and Simon Draper. Early on, they pulled one back, and then we just held out the rest of the game to give us the win there, which is crazy. Um, we then beat uh, Real 3-1. Billy Thompson, Alan Edwards, and Draper. Uh, we then beat Half of West 3-0 away. Um, Chris Goodchild with two, and Luke Cummings with a goal there. Uh, then we lost to Milan 3 0 away uh, to Imbula, um, a very good player of theirs. Um, but yeah, we couldn't do anything against them. They're quite a good team, actually. We then beat uh, Bala 5 2 away. Um, and Edwards, Lee Pritchard with two, Colin Nelson and Robert Callahan with goals there. Uh, then we beat Airbus, uh, not Airbus, Newtown 9 0. Um, Draper with four, Alan Edwards with four, and Billy Thompson with one there. Um, it was funny because Alan Edwards was actually a sub for Blanco because he was injured. And then he comes on and scores four, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so that was a 9 0 win there. Then we beat um, Airbus 6 0. <laughs> Lee Pritchard, Chris Goodchild, Richards, O'Connor, and Edwards. Then we uh, beat Olympiacos away 2 0. Pretty crazy. Um, Draper with a penalty and Craig Williams with a late goal to seal the win for us there. We then finally did it. Um, we have beaten a team by double digits. I've been wanting to do that for years now um, because I know we are capable. And as this goes to show, we are. So um, we beat Monmouth 11-0. Uh, Hill Hillier got a hat-trick. Lewis O'Connor got two. Darren Mainwaring got two. Billy Thompson got a hat-trick. Um, and then Josh Mainwaring got a goal there as well. So, yeah. We were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nil up at half time, and then we scored another 5 goals. I didn't think we were going to do it, but then Billy Thompson and Josh uh, Mainwaring got 2 goals there, because we didn't score from the 70th to the 85th. But, yeah, very, very good result there. We then beat TNS 4-1, uh, McCaw with 2, uh, and Draper and Thompson with 1 there. We beat, then beat uh, Care 5 nil, Lee Pritchard, good child with 2, McLean and Blanco. Then we lost to Olympiacos 3-2, which was really annoying seeing as we beat them at home. They went 1-0 up, and then we went 2-1 up from Thompson and Draper. And then some, out of nowhere, they got two goals back, and we couldn't do anything at all after that. 
so I was very angry at that point. Um, we then beat Ryder 5 0 away, Callahan with a hat trick, Blanco and Lewis O'Connor. Um, then we beat Penny Bont 6 1 in the semi final of the Welsh Cup. Um, Billy Thompson, Draper with 2, McCaw with 2, and Hillier. We then uh, beat Banger 1 0 away, which is very strange for us. John Walters, though, with his first goal for the club um, ever. Look at this. One goal. He's got two goals in his entire career, spanning of 178 games in the league so far. But his first goal for us ever, and his first man of the match, I think that was. And it was the only goal there. Pretty crazy. Then we lost to Porto 2-1 away. It was sort of seen, but it was really annoying. So we drew 1-1, and then they got a penalty straight after. So at this point, it was a bit um, hands in the balance to see if we would um, get through the group. Because at this point, Porto were on 12. Um, Milan, Olympiacos and us were both on six, all on six, but they had better head-to-heads than us, so we were bottom of the group at the moment. Um, then we beat Ryder 6-0, Chris Waters with a penalty, Mark Bowen with two, an own goal, and Callahan with two. Then we beat Milan 1-0 in the end, in the 84th minute we scored here. So, yep, Champions um, League group, look at that. So, in the end, three wins, three draws, nine points. Milan lost to us, and Olympiacos lost to um, Porto on the last day. So, we go through second again. So, this is going to be crazy for our coefficients, um, which will be pretty good. Then we beat uh, Abba 3-0. Um, Draper with two, and Blanco with one there. Um, then we beat Stefan Drids 5-0. Um, Rob Pearson with a hat-trick. Chris Goodchild and Alan Richards. Then we beat TNS 2-0, um, Billy Thompson with 2 against his former club, um, or Loney club. Then we beat Haverford West 4-1, Callahan with 2 and Pearson with 2. Um, then we beat Real 1-0 away, um, very surprisingly only one goal, Darren McCall with a goal and hit a quite a lot of yellows there. Um, then we beat Bala 5-1 at home, uh, Thompson with 2, Callahan and Kieran O'Sullivan with his first um, game scoring 2 goals there, which is pretty good. Um, did he score before? No, that was his first game and he scored two goals, which is well, isn't isn't too bad actually. Um then we beat um Airbus five two, Draper with a four, and Blanco with one there, and they had two people sent off. Um which is pretty crazy. Then we beat uh Kerr six nil. Um Billy Thompson, Alan Richards uh, McCall with a hat trick and Draper with one there. Then we beat Seven Drids eight nil. Uh Callahan with a hat trick, Lewis O'Connor Darren Mainwaring, Craig Lewis, Chris Waters, and Lee Williams. And then we beat Monmouth, 8-0. Um, Alan Rich with 2, Hillier with 4, Thompson and McCaw. Then we beat um, Hawarden in the Welsh Cup, 7-0. Kieran O'Sullivan with a hat-trick, Rob Pearson with a hat-trick, and Lee Williams. And then we beat TNS, 7-2. Um, Alan Edwards with 1, Derek Russell with 2, and Lee Williams with 4. Even though we had a man sent off in the second minute... So, yeah, it's been a bit crazy. And now we've got Champions League first knockout round against Real Madrid, which will be a live com as well. So that's going to be fun. Um, real fun. Have I even got up to the point? Yes, I have. So if we look at the league, though, that's what it looks like so far. We've already qualified for Europa. 23 wins out of 23. 106 goals, 10 against so far. So our best so far this year. Uh, if you look at the stats of the players, Thompson's up for the goals. Connor Thompson's got 30 for TNS. He is prolific for them. I don't really want him to beat um, the uh, record, which is um, most goals, is 34 by um, Simon Draper. So it looks like he might beat it this year, which won't be good for us. Um, but, yeah, um, we have the better overall. Lewis O'Connor and Draper were there with assists and Hillier there. Um, but if we look at our own stats, like through everything, um, general stats, there we go. Draper's got 26, D- Darren Rickles got 20, Billy Thompson's got 18, Callahan's got 15. Uh, I think some people are injured, there we go. Oh no. No, just low knees. Um, then we got um, assists wise. Draper's got 18, McCall's got 16, O'Connor's got 12, and then more 10s. Rob Pearson, look at that. Five games, five sub-appearances, eight goals, ten assists. Not doing too badly there. 
So um, today we have Real Madrid um, at home, the first leg of our knockout round. Um, I haven't even done the team yet, Jesus Christ. Um, let's look at it, that seems okay, and he, he no, got sent to mid. Are we missing out anyone important? Kieran Sullivan sits on the bench for this game, Darren Mainwaring, Craig Williams, Ad Adrian Richards. Nope, Craig Williams will start there. Um, Nathan Robertson goal. So that is it for the team. I'll show you the team. Nathan Robertson goal. Uh, John Walters left back. Alan Richards and Craig Williams centre mid centre backs. Wayne Clark right back. Uh, Simon Hurley and Chris Walters centre mids. Draper uh, inside forward right. Hillier inside forward left. Thompson and McCaw up front. So we're going into this game. Definitely not the favourites here. Um, as you can see, Real Madrid. Oh, he's pretty, pretty young. But he's still very deadly. Kevin Volland as well. Brilliant. Uh, they got some very good regions, I think. they got Varane still. He's the captain. Digne, uh, to pay. We've played them once before. Well, twice before in the uh, group. But, um, yeah. It's a bit mental. Um, just move the screen, I think, there. But let's just go into this game looking not to um, get killed. So nobody ex oh, <laughs> This is being a great... Uh, I'm going to save the team talk. It's all right. Um, but here we go. go. I think we're going to go on ridge and counter. And if it doesn't work out, we go standard balanced. Because to be fair, we haven't been doing too well against um, the bigger teams. Oh, I need to slow that down as well. Um, extended as well. Um, but, like, compared to Man U last year, we can't do any worse, I guess, so hopefully we can actually get a win. And I remember last year we be did beat Real Madrid in the Europa League, but they were a lot weaker team back there because they were in the Europa League. This is the Champions League knockout stage. But, um, yeah, going good so far. We've got a free kick here. McCaw puts the ball in, but Real Madrid have the chance to count here. Aguilera on the right plays it into Ruiz Diaz to pay, and that's... No. Yes, it's offside! Yes! 20 minutes in, uh, Real Madrid thought they had a goal from their counter, but he was offside there. As we win the ball back, actually, Chris Waters on the ball, into Draper, to McCaw, to Thompson. McCaw again on the ball, Chris Waters, into Draper, oh, into McCaw, who forces a save out of the keeper. Draper to put the corner in, but he's cleared away, straight away, out for a throw-in. Not doing too bad so far, 25 minutes in. Got a lot of possession, actually. Um, Draper with a free kick here. Puts it wide. Oh, so close there. Could have been 1-0 up. Another throw in for us here. Chris Waters, Wayne Clark on the ball. Chris Waters again. Draper into McCaw. Into Thompson, who strikes that miles above, but is offside anyway. Goalkeeper with the kick. Alan Richards clears, but Real Madrid win it back. Ruiz Diaz into Volland. Volland again on the ball. Oh, what? Aguilera with the goal for Real Madrid. Out of nothing. They have not deserved anything out of this game so far. Oh, that was all oh, just bullshit. <laughs> God damn it. What the hell was that? I've moved up to standard balance now, but look at this. Looking. F How is he not offside? Th How is he not offside there? What the hell? I think people should have done better with that. Look at that. We've had all the possession. Simon Draper with a free kick now. Into Wayne Clark. Chris Waters. Hurley. Into Draper now. Into McCaw. Takes a shot. That goes over. We need to be finishing these chances. We've had all the possession. All the chances apart from that one chance. And they have another corner. And that goes wide, thankfully. Don't want to be 2-0 down already. But we do not deserve to be 1-0 down against Real Madrid. We've played so much better than them. Getting up to half time now. Will we have a chance before half time or will they have another chance? Looks like there might be a chance for them as they win the ball here. Ruiz Diaz Volland. He's going to try and go down the wing. Puts it in Ruiz with a great save from Nathan Roberts, but they still have the ball. And Nathan Roberts with another save. Depay's going to put the ball in. It's cleared out only out to Varane. Digne on the ball. Plays into Aguilera and win the corner again. Real Madrid do. I'm being Yoda. Um, but that is not... 
we do not deserve to be doing that losing that um we just do not deserve that at all we dominated the first half even though it doesn't show our, our lake possession wise we dominated looks like Real Madrid have a chance straight from kickoff here but that's a corner actually don't know how it looked like a corner but the ball goes in cleared by Alan Richards a great clearance there but nothing comes from it okay everyone's looking frustrated they want I think they feel like they've been a bit um, yeah mugged off here but another goal kick for Iran but McCall wins it now Hilly onto the ball hasn't done much this game McCall into Draper <laughs> Way, way wide there. Way wide. McCaw Hilly has done nothing this whatsoever this game. I'm going to bring on Blanco. Thompson's going to go off for um, Callahan. Chris Waters is going to come off for Russell as we make three subs all at once to try and change something up um, to see how things can go from here. We have a free kick. Draper puts the ball in. Cleared, though, straight away to Aguilera. To pay. Real Madrid on the counter. He's going to try to put the ball in. Voland uh, blocked for a corner. It seems Real Madrid are playing the bloody counter attack on us. It's this ball. <laughs> Bullshit. We should be playing counter. But it is working for them at the moment. Um, they do have a throw in though. Digne, uh, Mesview, Depay, Mavisu, Ruiz Diaz. They're getting the ball around quite well here. Depay puts the ball in. Aguilera again. That's 2-0. And that's the tie over, basically. I don't know what Nathan Roberts was doing there. But poor, poor goalkeeping from him. And Aguilera's third goal of the season. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. I said, I don't know what he's doing there, but he scored two against us. We put the corner in. It's not initially cleared. Simon Hurling to Callahan and it's saved again for a corner. Why can't we score? God damn, Draper puts a ball into the back post and Craig Williams heads it over. We just cannot score now for some reason. Any other game we could we could have finished two or three already of these. But it just seems like it's not going to be our day today. With the last ten minutes, plays the ball up and don't screw it up here. Nathan Roberts thankfully gets to that. And he's going to play it out, it seems. Put straight, straight to the Real Madrid players. Dongu Aguilera blocked, though, thankfully. Draper on the ball. Okay, another free kick. They just all seem to be putting it up. But McCaw's on the ball now. He's going to put it into Callahan. He's one-on-one, -on -one and he fucking doesn't finish it. Oh, my God. Why can't we finish? And Draper just gives away a goal kick from a corner. What has happened? Suddenly we can't finish at all. Another chance here with four minutes to go, but Walters gives the ball away. And he gives it away again. Aguilera on the ball. Theory. Oh, they might do the killing blow here. Down the wing. Puts the ball in. Voland. Back out to Aguilera. Voland, and that's 3-0 Real Madrid. What a shit take that is. What the hell is going on here? That's so much bullshit. I I just can't believe it. They've scored three goals. This oh god, don't make it four. Whatever you do, please. Ruiz Diaz Aguilera. Gonna go down the wing. Nathan Roberts saves that though, thankfully. The, we did not deserve this whatsoever at all. We've had so many chances this game. Like so many just good chances. Robert Callahan could have finished one off easily there. They still have a chance to get a fourth here. Isco now. But it's cleared, thankfully. My God, we do not... Look at that. Oh, I'm so angry. Because we could have... We It's such a winnable game, this one was. Such a winnable game, this was. It's ri ridiculous. Look, the split stats. We were very even. We had so much more possession than them. And so many more chances. Oh, it's so annoying. So... For God's sake. So, um... We got the second knockout round to go through, which is going to be fun after we're 3 nil now. We're probably just going to go straight out for the attacking on that. Um, but, yeah, so um, I'll be back for that, even though we're 3-0 down. We really could have done better in that game. Just ridiculous. We couldn't finish anything. Um, but we do have that in a couple of weeks, actually, in uh, April. 
no, March. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, even though it ended badly. Um, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.